Hi, I'm Darcy um, at Matthewson, and we're doing the Sling Box pitches. Mine is um, the it's a series, and my overall series is how not to watch your TV. The first pitch that I'm going to be doing is called the extension cord. So we um, meet our first character. is His name is John. He's dressed in a business suit, and we find him with a um, the roll of duct tape on his arm and pulling a uh, shopping cart full of the bright orange extension cords. And so we follow him down the street. Every so often he takes the duct tape in his mouth and rips it off and tapes it down to the, the ground on the concrete and plugs in a new extension cord. And um, he goes across the street on the crosswalk and you have pedestrians looking at him like he's completely deranged and have motorists honking at him because they're, you know, he's taking up their driving time. Um, so then we cut to the next scene where we watch him get to his um, get to his place of business, and there's a revolving door. He waits for his turn to go through the revolving door and can't quite make it, so he, he just decides to go through, takes you know with his shopping cart and everything, and um, he gets through. But then people get stuck um, in the revolving door. He doesn't hear him. He doesn't you know, pay attention. They're banging on the on the door and, and screaming and you know, trying to get out, but they can't. He ignores them, goes to the elevator. The next shot we see is him in the elevator, sitting there with the extension cord in his hands, humming along to the elevator music, while there's other people, other uh, businessmen and women in the elevator looking at him like he's crazy, and you know, what's he doing with this big shopping cart full of extension cords. Um, then the next scene we see him get off the elevator um, and walk into his office um, past his secretary's desk with his last extension cord. And as he gets about a foot from his secretary's desk, he jerks because there's no more extension cord. He can't get to his desk. He can't get to where he needs to be with his with his TV and you know on his briefcase and his um, and his shopping cart. So he's just he's out of luck. And his secretary then walks in with her laptop. And she goes and sits down, and you hear the TV in the background, and um, he gives her a weird look, and she looks up and goes, what, I'm on my break. And as we fade to black, he's just staring at her with the extension cord in his hand, just flabbergasted that he couldn't get what she got. And then uh, fade to black, and then Slingbox um, logo comes up and says, your TV anytime, anywhere. And then one last scene cut to the people still stuck in the revolving door. Some have given up and are sitting on the briefcases or on the floor, and some are still desperately trying to get out. And um, so that's the first pitch. The second pitch is, once again, John. Um, he's in his casual attire. It's a weekend. And he's pushing a huge AV cart, uh, audiovisual cart. He's got his big screen TV. He's got his uh, DVD player and his VCR. He's got speakers. He's got his laptop on there, and he's uh, once again has an extension cord, uh, extension cords in his hand, and he so he's pushing it around in a park or around a campus, and and he can't, you know, he can't quite sit, can't quite rest because he's got this big cart. He pushes it up a little tiny slope, and sees a bench with a kid sitting on it, and he goes, okay, I'm just you know, thinks to himself, I'm just going to sit down and rest. So he sits down and rests, and looks at the kid next to him who's has a skateboard and is holding a mobile phone in his hand watching TV. And it's the same thing that's going on with John's TV. And so he's looking at this big AV car going, okay, why am I dragging this around when the kid's having a cell phone? You know, and the kid gets up, skates off with, this, with the cell phone still in his hand, still watching his TV as he's going about his business. John sighs and then cuts to the Slingbox logo again and says, you know, your TV anytime, anywhere. And then one last shot of John sitting on the bench, and the AV cart slowly starts to run down the hill, or down the little slope, and he just, you know, turns to the front and, and just kind of sighs, and that's it. Good job. All right. All right. Okay, these are good. The, the first one, um, I love the idea of the extension cord that he's kind of laying out, because it's, it's like one of those things like, what? Mm -hmm. The revolving door is funny. The elevator is funnier, like that. There's like the elevator music playing, right? And it was like, mm. and the extension cord getting sucked out of the thing, and people looking. And I'm like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. The only thing is that it's like because it's power. I, I, I don't know that people get there and go, oh, I can't make it to the desk. I think everyone's gonna say, dude, just plug in right there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I think it has to be somehow 
like more than just power, like uh, something like I don't know. Yeah, like evil Corps. Something like that. But I love the idea of him having to go through there. I was we just thinking like it was his, like he was trying to watch his TV the whole way from like. Well, there they go. That makes sense. If he's like, bringing the TV, yeah, yeah, yeah he's bringing the TV in the plugged car. in the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so with that his, might. Yeah, like his briefcase in the little child seat. In the, there you in the go. Car. There you go. So he's trying to watch it the whole time while he's like. There you, go. there you go. There you go. There you go. Like it's a, like he's trying to keep up with the game. Mm -hmm. That would help a lot. Make okay. it seem like he's trying to watch it wherever he could go. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's good. The one thing we want to be careful of is that we don't want to make him too much of a jerk with the people stuck in the revolving door. Because you don't want to be like he's like a bad guy because he's the potential slingbox customer, right? Mm -hmm. He's yeah. not a slingbox customer, so it's okay to slam on him a little bit. But he's the guy who's who's almost there, you know. Yeah. So we just got to be careful of that. But but it's funny. I like it. The other one is even more on message. I think, and what makes it even more on message is because it's outdoor. It's the Rome, where do I get my TV? And the way he's pushing it along with the game playing as he's washing it, as he's like walking his dog or whatever, mm -hmm. going out in the park, like you said. And then to see the kid and have the kid watching the same sports game mm -hmm. is like the that moment of realization, like, holy shit, how is he doing that? And the kid's all, dude, I got a sling box or whatever, and says that, and you know, sling box, watch mm -hmm. TV anywhere, and, and then the cart rolling down. I think that's, I think that's even more on message than mm -hmm. the first one. Maybe not quite as... Maybe not quite as funny, Catchy, yeah. or maybe not quite as funny as the as the electrical as the as the cord getting sucked out through the through the through the elevator, um, but it's actually more on message. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's why there's two. There's yeah, 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 exactly, exactly, exactly. That's, exactly. that's why there's two. One more so, um, so and and I think the little change you made of actually having him push the TV and having a giant shopping cart with a big plasma in it that he's watching it as he's going and laying the cord down mm -hmm. might make it seem more like, oh, that's why he needs to be doing it. Or yeah, I, w I wasn't sure if we should get a big TV or just like a small one and he's just so desperate to watch any TV yeah, that yeah, he's yeah. got, you know, those little yeah. tiny yeah, yeah, little yeah, yeah. rabbit ears on. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's awesome. So I think, um, okay, so in terms of of shoot, it seems like the second one might be a little easier to do. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, both of them can be done around town. Um, either on campus and my dad has an office in a, in a building a real near here like four blocks away mm -hmm. so you know we'd use that to the elevator well. is probably yeah. a hard one but <laughs> revolving door yeah 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 um okay. so yeah so that's pretty easy um my for the props and and the camera and, and the for the low end it's about um 800 900 dollars um but the high end's around um two thousand dollars for both um that was my for the props and everything for for both. Production. So what's the difference to if, what's the difference between the low end and the high end in your budget then that that uh, just to help them decide because they're like a thousand dollars or two thousand well, dollars. What do they get out of the two thousand dollars? It's the having like I should um, spin you around. Uh, it's having a better uh, having a better quality of um, video and sound and. Um, Paid actors, as opposed to in, in my in the, in the low end budget, it would be friends or possibly theater students, and you know just paying them, you know basic fee for showing up. But we could get you know a, a real actor for it. Um, there's not a lot of props involved. Most of mm -hmm. it is in quality of camera and sound and lighting, and depending on what TV show or movie you'd want to use. I mean, you could use something that's you know, free domain, or you can use something that's copyrighted, depending on what you'd want in, gotcha. you know, what you'd want to gotcha, show. Gotcha, so. Gotcha. Okay, so the big difference is quality. equipment, quality equipment, and the quality of the, of the uh, video output, and um, the quality crew. actors. And, yeah, and, and the crew. Okay, okay. Because we can do it or... <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, okay, good. Cool. Thanks. Thank right. you.